Oh, that's a daddy right there. Oh my God, look at my rim. <laughs> look at the icicles on Buffy. That's frozen. Woo, it's snowy, it's 19 degrees. Where are we going though? Where could we possibly be going, I wonder? This is crazy looking. I have to wear sunglasses because it's so bright, but look at this. Look at the roads. Lovely, just gorgeous. Oh, wow. All right, let me focus on the road. Look, look at that guy. Where are we? Look, they're up here too. They're already moving at me. What is it with me and cows, man? In Florida, it was birds and out this way, it's cows. Look at him, he's huge. Oh, that's a daddy right there. Oh, it's a baby. Or a tween. Here, I'll wait. This is an old mining town. There's like a, I wish it wasn't. Oh, look, the sun's coming out. I look directly at it. Dumb. Hi. Hi. Oh, you get your little booty snow cows yeah this is a little mining town if it wasn't so snowy I would there was like a really cool trail back there but I love that there's just cows scattered about look at this good old Victor Colorado I'm gonna turn here yeah Nikola Tesla must have come from here because there's a lot of Nikola Tesla Tesla places out here. So I'm not sure. Oh, look at this little bus stop. Did you see the Tesla mural? Oh, we're here. Oh, we're here. Look at this cute town. I can't, I can't deal with this. But here's where we're going. This is where we're spending the night. Have you guys heard of the, uh, is it the Black Monarch? I think it's the Black Monarch Hotel. That's right, we're sleeping indoors tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't remember putting this on my map, but it is a haunted hotel. And we are staying in a very special room. I'm gonna wait till we get there to do all the details, but um, let's go check in, okay? Let's go check in. wasn't sure if he was about to tell me I'm not parked correctly because I don't think I'm parked very well. But we're gonna find out. I bet this whole damn town is haunted. Oh, look at it. It's obviously snowing. Yeah. Oh my God, look at my rim. <laughs> look at the icicles on Buffy. Kind of, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. What do you guys think? Probably not, right? How do I get in? Well, it looks like it's opened. Maybe there's another way. No. No. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> I didn't even realize that. We might have to call. Are you in a white van out here? Yeah, I'm in a big old transit. Oh, yeah, so it's just right there on 3rd, just uh, north of where you're sitting your van right there. So the entrance isn't on Main Street, it's on 3rd. Okay, cool. I'll find it. All right, you have a good one. All right, thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, the van is frozen. Cool. All right, so there's a lockbox. Check it out. Oh wow, this is nice. Do you guys want to take a guess at what the theme of this room is? You might be able to figure it out. There's a good indicator right there. Here we go. The H.H. H. Holmes room. H.H. H. Holmes was the first, he's coined as the first American serial killer. And there's rumors that he may actually be Jack the Ripper because he came over here. Well, we don't, I think they said he did spend some time, because he changed his name a few times, and he had spent time in London before he came to America. I'm pretty sure he started in Texas, and he uh, started like this scam where he would get people to get like um, life insurance through him, and then he would have them name him as their beneficiary, and then all of a sudden they would die. It's kind of crazy. And he got filthy freaking rich, and ended up buying an entire square block in Chicago. And he, actually, uh, American Horror Story Hotel that season is loosely based on him because he would hire different contractors to come in because that way they would, none of them would know the actual layout. And he had all these trap doors and chutes that he would bring in, like homeless people and prostitutes, people that society technically wouldn't miss. And um, he would, like, experiment on them and just crazy story, crazy story. I always find it so fascinating. He's a, he's a bad dude incredibly interesting to nevertheless good god this is a cool room so this will be the first night i spent indoors in over a month and i'm spending it in a serial killer themed room what do you guys think do i not take you nice places are you not entertained okay now we're doing some research because when i was at the uh the bar right up the street i asked the bartender about the history of this place she said yeah it was a mining town but it was also uh, famous for their brothels and um, 
Well, what she she said horror, a horror town, and at first I thought she said horror, like horror. And she's like, no horror. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna fit in just fine here. But I'm watching a YouTube about this actual hotel, and um, this was like the brothel back in the day. Um, like right outside the the first the open area, that was the gambling room, and. Yeah, but they're literally about to talk about this room. Like the guy that bought it, he was like, let's make this an attraction. Let's make every room like serial killer themed. But here, let's let's watch this a little bit together. Hi. And it became apparent to me that it needs to become an attraction. Adam decided to design rooms based around Look, infamous meta. serial killers. Um, this room we actually named and themed after H.H. H. Holmes, who built the Chicago Murder Castle in Chicago in 1893. Also known as America's first serial killer. So basically he was murdering all the guests at the hotel to steal their identity, to steal their goods. Despite the creepy theme, you can see in each room the ornate detail kept from the past. So uh, the next room... Named after Elizabeth Batterley. Alright, we're not gonna take all of their... <sighs> Remember, Annie Taylor Murtaugh. Tag her in this. Um... <laughs> so yeah, I'm staying in a haunted brothel. The guy that bought this, I think his name is Mick, uh, <coughs> he, in this video, was like, yeah, as soon as he came here, everybody was like, this is the, this is the most haunted building in the place. And also, when I was reading, um, like, they sent an email just kind of like telling you the rules of this location and all that, and they said that it is a very old building, so it makes a lot of noises at night. So... I mean, there's some proof, but I'm kind of curious to see what happens tonight. So it's definitely getting darker, so I went to turn the lights on. The overhead light doesn't work. That light over there, it's really cool looking light. Doesn't provide a lot of light. It's a lowercase l light. We got this guy. I turned it on. It was here. There's a lamp over there that also doesn't work. So this is, the sun hasn't gone down completely, but it's gonna be real spooky tonight. Okay, we survived yet another night. Nothing happened. Honestly, it wasn't the best night's sleep, I think. Honestly, because I missed the van. Yeah. It looks like we might have blue skies today. Let's take a look. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we're all dressed and ready to go. And look, the sun came out. I'm hoping because the sun's been out for about two hours. I'm hoping that means it's cooked Buffy a little bit so she's not as cold. And hopefully my water's not frozen, but it did get down to the lower teens last night. So probably a little bit of something. I'd be shocked if my blue Eddie's still on, but let's go find out and say goodbye to the Black Monarch Hotel. This is nice. Lord is bright. It is bright. Ooh, Buffy, I missed you. I'm so comfortable in this van now. I've gotten, I was worried that I wouldn't be, but look at that. All right, let's go see if it's working. Uh, it looks like we still got power. The power didn't shut off, so yay. I wonder what it, Oh, well, I see. It stopped pulling in. It doesn't shut off, it stops pulling in power. So, let's just restart it. Hopefully that'll do the trick. It might just have to really warm up. Yeah, it's just gotta warm up. Let's see. It got down to 15 degrees last night, but it's already up to 30, so that means, it, yeah, it has to be above 40 degrees before this thing will work so damn I thought I was pulling in solar this whole time but at least we still have power we're just not pulling any in so yeah you see 
I don't know if you can tell, that's frozen. We aren't even going to try to use the water until our cabin, it's weird, the cabin temperature is above 50. So we're only at 34 right now, so we got some time. Hopefully by tonight it'll be working, but um, hey, we're learning, we're learning.